You see he's in a good salmon. Uh, salmon. Salmon. There's an L. Salmon. Hey, there's an L smack dab in the middle of that word. I said word. that. Salmon. 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 I said the L. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tunnel Takedown, the only sports show where we care less about what you did on the court. Don't give a damn. And more about how you showed up. I am here with my esteemed co-host, Khalees Anthony. The one. The one and only. The one and only. And Mouse Jones, everybody. What's good, everybody? What's good? You guys are looking good. Thank you. You guys Thank are you. looking good. Thank we you. got color going. You know, we try. Racks, what you wearing over here? What is, a little bit of what is this rack style? Talk to me about I, I, how Racks gets this I in the morning. I wake up, I recognize the fact that I'm a global sex icon. And yes. I throw clothes on and walk out of the house. That's pretty much what it goes down. I feel that. Khalees. I mean, we were talking about Pierre Moss last week, we so was. I had to pull up with the two piece. Shout out to Kat. So what I you working say, with? What's up? Yeah, yeah what you got on? You just wait, like, hold on. You just a clash of patterns and colors and shit over this motherfucker Damn, this week. Damn, we're gonna take it there. You just gotta Off get. The rip. We're gotta, taking it listen, there. Listen, I see a pattern. I'm like, you know what? Put it on. Fuck it. Now listen, you know we gotta jump right into these looks, right? What we gonna do is break down three looks. Three. Then we are gonna put them head to head. Tell us about how we put them on the leaderboard. They will be judged on three things. Yep. That's originality. Bang. That's confidence. That's two. And then there's execution. Three. Now, let's get into the first look. Brandon Ingram from the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, this was my personal pick this yep. week. He has on a Harry Preston oversized printed cotton t-shirt. He Look also good. has on the Harry Preston lounge pants, you know, the cozy sauce. And he got on a pair of the Balenciaga trail runners, which uh, compared to the Triple S, I would much rather those over the Triple S. Basically, originality, I gave him an eight. Now, the reason why I gave him an eight was because he basically stayed on point with his branding and his color coordination. He is missing his dot kit, which means that he probably had his mans put everything in the locker room form, which allowed him to get a nine five for confidence because the boy showed up with his chin up, chin up, looking like he ready to do that. Like, where my Ferrari at? My bottles is at the table already? My pieces is hidden today? Yeah. All right, now execution, he gets an eight. But if he would've threw like a light jacket yeah. you know, to complete the look, then he would've got a nine for overall execution. I gave him a six for originality. Oh, okay. Whoa. I feel like when it comes to like <laughs> Off-White and Heron, like, Yes, it's the most popular thing, but I feel like we're seeing it on everyone. Okay. Confident, like you said, head up. He looks like he's happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Gave him a seven. Overall execution, I gave him a six. Like you said, it, would, it was just because I would have liked to see that light denim jacket or like a bomber on just to add that extra layering. This Thanks. isn't that original. Uh, I gave it a five. I gave him a seven for confidence. And overall execution, I gave him an eight. Like, okay. this is well put together. This I wish you would have just well looked out together. for me on the originality here because I, I feel like the this boy stepped, out, original, stepped right? out the original. box. We gave him a total of 64.5. Next, we got the Bronx's own. We got Kimber Walker in this good orange. Uh, now, Khalees, this was your pick. He actually, like, tried. He actually put effort. He didn't just show up with, you know, like a sweatsuit on. So, no, he didn't. I gave him an eight for originality. Wow. An eight for confidence. I mean, he's glowing. He's flourishing. The this melanin is. with the orange, it's a moment. Black skin um, and orange, man. I love it's it. It's a moment. And then for overall execution, I gave him eight. I would have gave him a nine had the turtleneck and the jacket not been the same color. Okay. But that's it. It looks great on him. But that got him an eight? I gave this shit a five for originality, gave personally. Shit a five. He thought the sweatsuit was pulled... more original than this guy. Bruh, but because I, I feel like he pulled up looking like he could have been on like the reboot of Good Times. Confidence, I gave him a six and a half because he's kind of like, hey guys, I kind of showed up. Are y'all fucking with this or not? <laughs> that's kind of how his well, face I am, is. So. Overall execution. I gave him a 6.5. The boy just looked like his mom dressed him for the winter and threw him out the house. Like, all right, boy, put this coat on, put this turtleneck on, go on now, go on. Sorry, that's what I thought. So I gave this a seven. I like this orange shirling. Oh man, got the teeth out. So confidence, I gave him an eight. Hands are moisturized, so that goes with confidence. Uh, that goes overall... to overall execution, though. <laughs> that Over, <laughs> overall execution, I gave this an eight. Anyway, that gives him a total of 65 points. All right, now, Mouse, we got your boy, your mans. This your fave. This your mans, Russell Westbrook, yeah. Oklahoma City Thunder. You see my guy right there. You see him now. You see he's in a good salmon. Uh, salmon. Salmon. There's an L. Salmon. Hey, there's an L smack dab in the middle of that word. I said word. that, salmon. 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 I said the L. <sighs> now, what matters here is that with this salmon, he brought it down to the Air Jordan 1s, in the rust pink, 
Now, if everybody w remembers Art Basel in mm -hmm. 2017, Got kind of crazy. it went crazy when so these crazy. and the mint dropped. So it was on the yacht, right? It was on, it released on the yacht. They pulled up on the yacht. I still yacht. need these, but I refuse to pay that $5,000. Yeah, right now so they're five bands. That's crazy. I highly doubt <laughs> Russell paid five bands for these. Uh, he is Team Jordan. But this just fits very well. Does um, it? This doesn't fit well. No, I mean, that's I'm, not a bad, oh, that's oh, an ill fitting. Oh, I thought you meant like fits well overall. But go ahead, continue. And then he threw something different in the mix with the overcoat. So. I feel like you setting us up for some bullshit with your scores, though. Gave him, gave him nines all across the board. You got me completely. Gave him fucked nines up. across the board. Mouse, you have to be stopped. You cannot gave give him a nines man. across the board. How? He I has a fucking pink sweatsuit on Sound. with a damn fisherman's vest and jacket on, like he's gonna go fly fishing with Wilson from fucking Home Improvement. No, you got me fucked up. But How did he get going. nines? How did he get nines across okay. the board? Salmon. Salmon. Okay, we know not you big. gave all nines. Since you feel very passionate about this look, let me know what your your scores are. Originality, he got a fucking two. We put a sweatsuit on, bro. <laughs> Just because you picked pink don't mean that it's original. Salmon. Pepto. Pepto is which actually is, Which is confidence. He looked like he need to go to the fucking bathroom with his face like, all right, Yo. let me get through this shit. They got the cameras on me. I didn't tell him I was going to wear my granddad's jacket, but fuck it. I'm going to do it. If his granddad had that jacket, Yo, that's a fire-ass grandfather. Fuck out of here, bro. You got me completely fucked up. Execution. I he wish get, my grandfather was He getting fly. a fucking five, bro. No way he got Execution is a nine. five. Y'all giving these bogus ass shit for these bullshit ass fits. That's a bullshit ass fit, bro. That's how I'm on my way to community college fit to go Slade. play a pickup game, nigga. Fuck that. Wait, we community college shaming here. Fuck that. Can I just get my scores? Can I just get my scores? All right, give me And we can move on because this is a lot right now. I'm going to give it. originality more, a seven. I, I don't love that opinion. It's just. Simple. I mean, Insane. the only thing I can say that's super original is that these Jordans are rare. That's it. It's my time now. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I and apologize. Then at least he threw on, you know, something that was a little bit more unique, I guess, as far as the jacket. We all love plaid here, so seven for originality. Confidence. I mean, he has a his. A queen. He has his hood up. Head a queen. down. He doesn't really look that confident in this photo, so I'm gonna give him a six for that. Overall execution, seven, and it's really the Jordans that saved it for me because I personally love those. So. Y'all making my stomach. A queen. Total. A queen. Total points, 56. So with a total of 65, just a half point more than Brandon Ingram, Kimball Walker replaces Russell Westbrook as number two on our leaderboard. Moving on. Let's send it over to our guy Derek out in LA. He's on the set of Fresh Montana's new video. So he's going to put us up on game. A couple weeks ago, I spoke to you about looser pants silhouettes for our NBA players. Coming down the pipeline now for spring is tie-dye. I can't wait to see how these NBA players are going to fuck it up or make it fly. Do you want to see any of the NBA players coming down the tunnel in tie-dye? I don't mind that, actually. I particularly love tie-dye. It's a yes for me. No. OK, now what kind of tie-dye are we talking about? Is it the rainbow kind of tie-dye, or is it the cooler looking? We hope it's the cooler looking tie-dye. Don't give tie-dye from top to bottom unless you really understand the dynamics. I don't mind a tie-dye boot or a tie-dye shoe. I'm just not a fan of the colorful tie-dye for the men. I would definitely be on their arm if they had a tie-dye shoe. Oh. So all this talk about tie-dye, and look what I found. Why'd you wear this t-shirt today? Keep it 100% with you. I got this from a free Adidas event. Who do you want to see wearing tie-dye in the NBA? Ben Simmons, and Ben Simmons only. Uh, why? Because he's the only one who can pull it off. Who can't pull it off? Russell Westbrook. First of all, you got to prepare me for this, because I don't know who's wearing it who's not. You're going to give me in trouble talking about this tie-dye. <laughs> Shout out to Derek. Good looks. Now, clearly, I got the tie-dye memo. They did it. Now, another trend that's here to stay, it ain't going nowhere, is the job kit. When it comes to styling the job kit, I think if you're gonna pull up with a bolder look, something that's more of a statement piece, right. come through with one that's a little bit more sleek, a little bit more subtle, and vice versa. If you're gonna have a look that, you know, you're not really putting too much effort into, it's super right chill, too. don't be afraid to grab that kit that's a pop of color, maybe a cool print, plaid, camo, something to that effect. Now, there's like so many options out there to choose from, from luxurious to low key. Louis V, Gucci, Prada, Zara Men's, Herschel Supply, Muji, Porter. So there's definitely something out there for everybody. Now, as far as what's in the kit, this is this is V V V important because clearly, last episode we've all were pretty passionate about moisturizing. You could afford Louis, but can't afford Jergens. It's been an epidemic in the basketball community, so we're gonna need y'all to pull up with that shea butter, please, that Vaseline, that chapstick, all of that good stuff. Please, please. What do you guys please. think should also be a part of the kit? I keep the party in my dab kit. 
Okay, we already know what that well, means. The stylish stoner. We already know well, what type of time he's on. Or if I'm Tristan Thompson, I don't keep phone numbers in there. Ooh. We gonna take it there. Ooh. Okay. You see what I'm you see, you see, see, I was see? thinking more like skincare, Breast deodorant, oh, cologne. Oh, that, that go in the pockets. I mean, all eyes are on them, so they got to come correct at all times. So shout out to the players who are keeping good hygiene while still keeping it fashion forward. Now, Mouse, uh -oh. I got a surprise for you. Me? If you guess that we would not be putting your face back up on the screen, too you, was, you was wrong. Malcolm Brogdon here on the right, and our very own Mouse Jones on First the of all, left. shout out to my hair. Yes, bitch. Oh, yeah. First of all, oh, yeah, happy, any chance happy. that I get to flame Mouse, you know I'm about to take it there. Oh, yeah, happy, so happy. we already told you about this bum ass upside down. So man, next time just don't start. Well, I put on a pair of sneakers. What y'all talking about? Just Listen, I didn't know we were still mouse. wearing Nike mouse. tech suits in mouse. 2019. Mouse. But. Nike tech mouse tuxedo forever. will be retired in 2019. Yeah, I promise you it won't be. Yo, <laughs> my skin. Yo, like, yes. listen. Yo, yes. can listen, we get listen, into listen, me as a listen, look? What? That group photo on uh, screaming at me. What? Up. Look at me. Oh, that shit is screaming. This is like your signature face. Yeah, that's my mouse face. To be fair, because I know I wore it better, but who do y'all think wore it better? Neither one of y'all. Okay. I'm gonna let Khalees be the. She going to I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you only because of the shoes, because I don't know what my man's over here was doing. Whew. We finna get into one of my favorite segments here on uh, Tunnel Take Down. Time? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is time for the flagrant fit of the week. Yeah, yeah. ta ta ta. We got JaVel McGee. From Ooh. the Los Angeles Lakers. This man Lakers. done lost his mind. Boy, you look like you have been removed from every R&B group that you ever tried out to get into. This outfit is just all wrong. Like, look at the arms. They're mad tight. What size are these <laughs> ones? These ones look like they're size 28. This is so bad. I just want to know who he thought he was. At least he got like, the dub kit. JaVel looks like... I, really, I feel like his kit. pyramid dub kit is there in more of a man purse than it is a dub kit. Listen, this is playoff energy, but we'll see if they even get there, so... <laughs> so as bad as this fit is from JaVel McGee, oh, I have terrible. a feeling that we will be talking about him again. Why? Because Why? this Saturday, no. Boston, Kyrie Irving, they're headed to LA to see JaVel McGee. His bad and fit. My and your man the from the old and Irving LeBron Link James. Project. They go head to head this Saturday. Project. So make sure y'all tune into that on ABC at 8:30 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to join the conversation, make sure you drop a line in the comments or head over to Complex Sports and let us know who you think the best or worst dressed in the NBA is. And please come correct. These fits been mediocre. Ooh. And well, I'm tired of giving sevens and eights. I want to well, give y'all been nine raking their asses like... up like they've been just out the gym. I'm tired of y'all giving these mediocre ass looks, these high ass workers. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Love y'all. Love y'all. We'll see you next week on Tunnel Takedown only on Complex. Squad gang, gang, gang. I'm not this bitch. Drop the mic. <laughs>